Hey guys, if you haven't been following along with my vlogs, definitely don't forget to check them out below. But I am in the Bahamas, staying at the beautiful Grand Hyatt at Baja Mar. This place is a dream. It's so beautiful. It's so nice to be here. I've been vlogging every day, like I said. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. But also, I'll link them down below. I wanted to do something a little bit different for this video. And I wanted to actually show you a little bit like walkthrough tour of the whole property. Because this place is huge. So I'm going to show you everything that it has to offer inside and outside. There's so many pools. There's a flamingo area. Um, they just have everything you could possibly think of in here. There's so much to see, so much to do. So I want to show you guys everything, including the room too. I'll show you guys a little bit of a room tour. And it's also in my travel day vlog, um, which I'll link down below. But yeah, let's go see everything this hotel has to offer because I'm telling you guys, it's beautiful. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's get started with the room tour. We were in room 2321 and your wristband that I'll explain a little bit more later, but this is also the key to your room. So as soon as you walk in, there is a closet space there. They have a lot of overall closet space. I did record this on the day that we got there um, before you know we made the place a mess or anything. So that's the first bathroom there. Um, and this is the whole living room area. But first I wanna start with the bedroom and our room, by the way, we got the one bedroom fountain view residence deluxe so this came with two queen beds in the room and a full bathroom over here as well as a full bathroom like you just saw in the hallway area and they have this like kind of like um looks like a closet but actually you can open it up and from the shower you can see out into the room and the balcony which is kind of cool but honestly we never use that we'd rather have some privacy when we're in the shower um so this is what the shower looked like and yeah there you can see how like you can look through from the bathroom so we just kept that closed pretty much the whole time I have a separate little area here for the toilet. They have Balmain toiletries, which were honestly so nice. I brought my own stuff, my own shampoo and conditioner, but I ended up not even using it at all because this was so good. Like, I left my hair feeling so nice, so I loved it. They have the rainfall shower, um, which is really nice. Even some Balmain body lotion, all very good to use. Um, and then they had even more closet space here. So they had two different closets right here. They had a full-length mirror there as well in the middle. A flat screen TV here in this room as well as a balcony um and this is like i was mentioning fountain view so at night there is a fountain show that happens here every night but in the morning this is the view that you have and if you're not you know if you don't want to pay the price of the beach front view this is a beautiful view as well and look you get to have a fountain show every night and honestly it was really beautiful to see um, but yeah, now on to the rest of the room tour. You have two doors that you can get out of. So we came in through that door on the left. Now we're um, going out through this door here. And then this is the living room area, which right here where I'm pointing, that is a sofa bed that pulls out. And from what I was told from my family that stayed there, um, they said it was pretty comfortable. So that was good there. Also, another section of balcony here. Again, this is not a full balcony, so you can't like have a seat out there or anything as you saw. It's just a step out balcony. But it was still, I mean, enough for us. We weren't planning to spend much time on the balcony anyways. We were going to spend more time out by the pool or the beach. Um, so it was good for us. Another TV here. And then another little section of balcony there. We have a full kitchen too. So we have a little dining table here. There is, you know, a sink there for anything you want to use that for. We have a fridge, which we did end up using. Um, we bought some, just some light groceries for like breakfast stuff. So we did end up using that. Freezer we didn't really use. Um, there's a microwave right there. You have some storage area right there. You have a Keurig. Came with six bottles of water. Um, a stove top. Dishwasher. Pots and pans. Like they literally have everything that you need. Toaster, as you saw there. They gave you some basic things to start off for like um, washing your dishes and your clothes. And you can always ask for more. And honestly, the whole staff here was super nice. But yeah, let's make our way down to the lobby now. These are what the elevators look like. They're super cool. Um, and when you step out, this is actually the entrance of the hotel. So I kind of want to give you the view of like when you check in. So this is what it looked like actually the day of us checking in. Um, and it was, that was one thing. The check-in process did take us like an hour and a half. So it was pretty long, even though you see that line doesn't look that long, but it did take a while. Um, then after we checked in, you see these beautiful gardens here on the side. And immediately you see the casino floor, some shops and everything, as you can see here, is just so beautiful. This hotel, like every corner is just so beautiful. They have a lot of slot machines and tables. And during the day, the casino is pretty empty. Most people are outside, but at night, this does get pretty busy. There are some more shops here. They have a lot of high-end shopping um, at this hotel. So you can, if that's something you're into, this is definitely a good place for you. Um, and then they have this little section here in the morning, which is pretty like dead, as you can see here. But at night, this place gets popping. They have live music here. It is super loud and always a good time. It seems like I never really stayed there much time, but um, we did walk by there a few times and it was looked like they were all having a lot of fun. 
Um, yeah, so this is another view at that garden there and the entrance. And then making our way kind of around the whole lobby level here. As you can see, beautiful chandeliers everywhere. They have a gift shop. This is the one inside the hotel in the lobby level. They also had one outside apparently, but we never made our way over there. The things are pretty expensive here. Um, a t-shirt was about like $35, but they do have, you know, if you want to take a souvenir home, they have that and also some snacks like you saw. Then here going around, there's a little bit more shopping. Um, you can find the restaurants here. Now making our way over to some of the other restaurants. This is an Italian restaurant that they have here at the hotel, which everybody said was really good. And I took a little video here of the menu. So if you're interested in that, you can take a closer look at it, pause the video, and you can also even see the prices there. So it is a little bit on the expensive side. Um, and then here is another restaurant, the steakhouse that they have on site. And it's one of the most expensive restaurants at the hotel um, and you can take a look here again you can pause to look at the menu a little bit closer but there is like one of their plates is like $350 so it's really expensive and not to mention that they also have a service charge here that with everything that you buy so it really makes a difference to the price of your food in general then if you want some type of casual dining they have this place called the pizza lab where you can sit inside and enjoy pizza or also take it to go and it was really good honestly some of the best pizza i've ever had but one pizza does cost 30 dollars. then plus the service charge and everything it ends up being around 40 dollars Okay, so we're kind of going full circle here in the whole lobby floor, but now going down this way a little bit, you have a whole section, a whole row of shops. So this is really like where the most of the shopping is. You have Tiffany Co, like you saw there, Tory Burch, a lot of high-end shopping again, and they do have some stores there like um, that sell like perfume and little things like this for the kids if you're interested in that They also have different type of like makeup products and skincare products So if you forgot anything at home, it's a good store to check out again The stuff is pretty pricey, but if you forgot something, you know, it might just be the place to go okay, And before we head outside, I just wanted to show this area There's like two main doors that you can go outside from um, But you have this like sitting area here where you can just sit here You don't have to like purchase anything or anything You can just relax in the morning or evening whenever And you can just enjoy the view And they also have these hand sanitizer stations everywhere, which is nice Okay, now that we're outside, I got my glasses on and I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the outside area. There's so many pools and everything. Um, so let's go. So this is as soon as we step out. This is the building that we came out of and right behind that window is that little seating area that I was mentioning that gives you this whole beautiful view. They have a little fountain here, which in the daytime it looks like this, but then at night it turns into like a fire pit, which is really nice and kind of sets the ambiance. Okay, they have a koi fish pond right out here. So many beautiful fish. Okay, and this is all right in front of like the main area that we just exited from. Now when you look the other way, this is one of the first pools that they have there. And they do have like 13 pools on the property, not including the water park, which we'll get into later. But yeah, everywhere they have a lot of signs here pointing you to where things are, which is really great and helpful because there are a lot of little walkways like you'll see through here and staircases that lead you to um, possibly different hotels because Baja Mar is made up of three hotels. So you have the Grand Hyatt, which we're staying at, the SLS, and the Rosewood. So those staircases can lead you to different hotels. So it's good to pay attention to where those go to. Then they have a breakfast spot here outside that's called the Palms. So you can always eat here in the morning before heading to the pool or the beach. Okay, we made it to the flamingo area. So here are all the beautiful flamingos. They keep them in here. I feel like most of the day, but every once in a while they do a little flamingo parade where they take them around. For the people to see. Here's a huge lawn space that they do events here. I think they even said that if they do weddings, they it would be out here. And it's beautiful with the beach as the backdrop, palm trees. Inside, there's a lot of places to eat, but they're really expensive. So let's go check out these places out here. They have food trucks and they're a little bit less expensive. I think a little bit more affordable. So let's go check them out. This is where all the food trucks are located. They're right by the beach area and they do have a good amount of options here for food trucks. They have, this is like a Mediterranean one. And again, you can look at, take a look at the prices. It is more affordable than the restaurant inside, but still on the pricey side. Then they have kind of like a Mexican inspired food truck as well. So we're out here. And one of the best things about this hotel is that you have the hotel, you take a couple steps and there's so many pools, which we'll get to. And then also just a couple steps away is the beach. So let's check it out. dirty today because it did rain the other day but it's honestly crystal clear the water 
the sand also here is just so nice it's like so powdery soft it's like a cream color it's just so beautiful they have a whole bunch of these little shells there too so if you're into picking shells this is the place to go okay so now on to the pools so this is the walkway again you kind of walk by the beach you see all the beautiful palm trees everything here is just you can stand anywhere and it'll be like a beautiful picture um, but here on the left side that's where we're going to go to one of the first pools that's called dean's blue hole it's a really popular pool as you'll see here this is the pool where you can jump off of these two like ledges and it's pretty high so it's like a cliff and underneath those waterfalls there is like a little bit of an aquarium that you can see um so really popular then you have other pools like this one which are mostly empty most of the time because they are 18 plus um and they do have a bar for example this one has a bar here it was already closed by the time we came around there and this was one of my favorite pools you see the cabanas around you have to rent those in order to stay there um and this was mostly empty because it is 18 plus and it also belongs to the rosewood hotel so that's specific for the rosewood guests Here they have kayaking and paddle boarding and if you want to do them they are included with your stay um so that is also a fun activity to do and like i said there's so much to do here that literally you don't have time to do everything but here's the beautiful beach again they have a really nice pier here which is pretty long so you can go all the way down there and see the beautiful ocean they have um, an ice cream place here again you can take a look at the prices there um, and this is kind of the other side of the outside portion so there are more pools and there are some activities here so there's something called the sanctuary where you can actually meet the fish and here's also i don't know if you can see it but there's a list of prices there of the different activities that you can do you do have to reserve these ahead of time they have some drink spots there where you can get like alcoholic slushies and i'm now an alcoholic as well then they have just a whole bunch more of these beautiful paths again which you can take and then kind of hidden in there there's other pools again a lot of these are 18 plus um and there is a whole water park so it's clear that they really want like you know like kind of like the families and kids to stay in the water park area and then if you're looking for a more like adult experience you have all these pools here where you don't have to worry about kids um splashing on you and all that they do have a lot of bathrooms all over the place changing stations and the whole time we were there i never even saw a line so i think they do a really good job of like um, in the amount of bathrooms and the locations that they have them in they also have these cool little spots that are just like little like you know again like kind of like gardenish areas where you can just go in and take a stroll take a picture everything's just super beautiful this would be the path back to our hotel so we would have like completed like a full circle here but before we do that i wanted to stop by and show you this other pool this is one of the first ones that we saw it's called like the reflections pool and it's definitely more of like a lounging pool again i do believe this might be 18 plus as well but it definitely is reservation only the other pools had a lot of music going on um, especially any pools at the sls hotel they kind of have like day parties there so those are a lot more busy but this is definitely more chill vibes there wasn't any music around so just somewhere that you can go if you want to really like relax okay so that's pretty much the whole property of the bahamar um here is the beach as you can see not really full and we really love that it was like so easy to get a chair and just sit down and enjoy the beach they have some more restaurants here which are right on the beach basically because there's sand there and everything so a lot of options for eating and then this is the way that you enter the water park it's kind of on the side of the whole property and so it does take about 10 minutes from our room um, to walk to the water park and then this is what you see as soon as you enter i kind of did an overview shot too so you can see kind of all the slides you see the food court area there too you can see the kitty area if you look back there some of the colorful slides um, which i'll get into but this is kind of like the group slides area so these are really fun to do um, you can go with i think up to like five people so really fun to do for the whole family that's somebody coming down right now um that was kind of like one of the more scarier ones the one on the right is a little bit lighter here's the kids area which was so fun honestly i had we were with my little niece there but we even had fun there too this is like a step up from the kitty area this is definitely for kids still but like kind of maybe a little bit bigger kids they have this bucket that splashes you every five minutes which is super fun and really refreshing they have some other slides here which are again like a step up from the kids slides but not too scary yet um and then they have the lazy river which i loved and spent a lot of time in then if you're into it they do have a surfing simulator here that's the instructor there showing the next group of people kind of what they can do when they are on the ride this was definitely a popular attraction there was always a line not super long but there was always definitely people there so if it's something you want to do you do have to wait a little bit but i think it's worth it if it's something you want to try out then if you're into a lot scarier rides they have that too um so you can definitely try those out not something that i was <laughs> into trying then they do have their own food court here at the water park so if you're spending the whole day here you don't have to leave to get food um this is some of the food that we got one of the days which was like this mediterranean uh place and everything is again pretty much on the pricey side um and the service charge really does make a difference and makes your meal a lot more expensive and they have some more shops here at the water park so if you want to pick up any souvenirs they have a lot of different options for you to pick from 
And then making our way to the whole other side of the property, they have places where you can do sports, like basketball courts, they have golf there, so there is definitely something to do for everybody. Hey, and shout out to my dad who helped film, and my mom too, because she ran into the hotel because it's super hot out here. Um, okay, we are back from the walking tour, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This place is so beautiful, like I was saying earlier, it's literally a beautiful place. Um, so I hope the pictures and the videos do it justice. When I was filming it, it did look like it was, you know, showing all the beauty of this place but hopefully you know you guys got a little sneak peek into it because you can always see the google pictures or just you know look it up online but i just wanted to give you guys an actual point of view from somebody who's here and just walking around so one thing that i want to explain a little bit more is these bracelets so um we're sitting at the grand hyatt bahamar and you have these bracelets and they are good for everything they you have to scan these in to get into the water park um and a lot of other places they're always checking your bracelet um but they're super lightweight and so i wear it around all day pretty much and you can also even charge things to your room just with this um, bracelet right here so yeah, that is um, another little thing that I wanted to add. But yeah, overall, it's been a great stay here. Everybody here is super nice. All the staff, everybody's so nice. Like they literally go out of their way to be nice to you. Um, so it's super appreciated. Everybody at the water park, at the hotel, everywhere. They've been nothing but nice to us. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos. And if you haven't already, check out all the Bahamas vlogs so you can see day to day what we've been doing here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.